Hi there, here's a quick video looking at absolute advantage and making a comparison with comparative advantage. So absolute advantage happens when the country can produce a product using just fewer resources than another nation. It's just more efficient in absolute terms. And if you can do that, it's we say that it has an absolute advantage. In comparison, comparative advantage is really to do with the relative opportunity cost if you decide to specialise in something. So it could be the case that a country has an absolute disadvantage in both products, but actually has a relative advantage in one. Opportunity cost, of course, is the, is the sacrifice you make when you specialise in a particular product. Now in this video, we're just going to focus on absolute advantage, just using a simple numerical example. And here it is. Let's take two workers. For the sake of argument, we'll call these workers Hillary and Donald, and they both have 10 hours of time available, let's say, per day. We're told that with 10 hours of time available, Hillary could lay 80 bricks or bake 20 cakes. Donald could lay 40 bricks or bake 50 cakes. So if they divide their time equally between the two activities, so Hillary lays 40 bricks, bakes 10 cakes, Donald 40 and divided by 2, he lays 20 bricks and can make uh, 25 cakes. So in total, we could have 60 bricks laid and 35 cakes baked if both workers, Hillary and Donald, allocated five hours to each. But it should be hopefully clear to you that in this situation, Hillary just has an absolute advantage in bricks. She's a better bricklayer than Donald. And Donald, God bless him, has an absolute advantage in baking cakes. He's just a better baker than Hillary is. So it makes sense for them to specialise based on absolute advantage. And if they do that, then the total output of both can increase. So if they were to split their 10 hours equally, five each, we'd have 50 bricks laid and 35 cakes baked. But if they decided to specialise, then Hillary would lay, lay bricks and 80 of them. Donald would specialise in, in, in the great bake-off, 50 cakes. So we get a gain of 20 bricks and 15 cakes. So absolute advantage can lead to gains in output. Um, we're assuming here constant returns from each person specialising in the, the task to which they have an absolute advantage. As I say, absolute advantage is different from comparative advantage. This is a slightly more simple version of the trade theory that you've presumably come across. So check out our YouTube video on comparative advantage for more complex examples.